Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial I'm going to talk about release time or in particular fade out time as someone would call it. Uh, so where it is? It's basically a small box if you double click on your playback you will see the box is called end box and a lot of people actually don't know what it is and how to use it and I'll quickly show you a little example. So in my case I have a simple playback with a four seconds fade in. So as it's fade in time, it's also fade out time. And this is what's the where the con uh, confusion is. If you launch the playback with a four seconds fade in, so it's all loaded, it's all okay. And what people expect is, so when they put the fader down, they expect it to fade out in four seconds. I put the fader down and it doesn't do it. So this is where people start getting confused. Uh, so yes, it is fade in and fade out, so it's all correct but what you actually need is is the release time because when you're putting the fader down you are actually releasing playback rather than fading it down so that fade in and fade out time as a uh, let's say if you talk about fade out this fade out time is applicable when you actually crossfading from one step to another. So that means if you have second step here, so you have multiple step sequence, then fade out will be applied to, the, uh, to that step. So that means it will be going to the next step with particular time. But if you want to kill it or release it, because when you're putting the fader down, you're actually releasing it, what you need is, is the fade time here. So let's say I'm keeping the four seconds fade in. I select here, press 7, enter. So now this is my release time. So let's see how it's going to work. I'm going to launch it now. So it loads in. 4 seconds, it's in. Now I'm killing it. And you will see that it it's fades out within 7 seconds. Again, what you might have noticed, when I start pushing the fader down, it sort of lost some... Uh, some uh, intensity and then it starts fading out of course because you're still controlling HTP values using that uh, using that fader so when you're pushing the fader down you're actually fading out as you can see because your controls HTTP controls are currently linked to the uh, to this fader so how to go around that so if you want to go around it you can uh, triple click on your playback or click here on the playback if you have MQ70, FQ, MQ50, click on here and then you change that uh, fader does not control HTTP, you make it as no. So now when you when you put the f uh, kill the fader, so you see it's getting released okay, so I will activate my playback and you will see it loads in in four seconds as per my uh, setting. And when I put the fader down, it actually loads out in seven seconds now. So this is how I believe a lot of people would expect it to work, but they don't actually know how to make it work. Now you know. So another thing when it comes to the release time, some people are trying to use the queue store and they're trying to click on, let's say, uh, queue. Let's say this queue. Ah, I already, I already, yeah. So, for example, you, they're trying to launch that queue, and you have a fade in time, so it all works. And then they click on the queue store again, and it actually kills it quickly. So, and they would like to see the fade out. The problem is, as a queue, it has a fade in time. Yes, of course, because when you click on it, it actually goes in. But as soon as you kill it, there is no f release time on that particular queue. However, you have it on the queue stack. So, if that queue, it actually relates to the wash static. That's the same thing. But this is queue part of the stack. So, if you click on the stack store, and this is the stack store, here you can launch it in, so it fades in. And when you click it again to kill it, it will fade out. Why? Because when you have it here, you either can set the settings here, so it's a double click, and you see I've set fade out time because QStack has got release time. This is where you can set it in, as you can see. You have a settings here, 
and don't mind the four seconds fade out because again don't forget as I said fade out is applicable when you are fading out to the next step rather than killing it so killing it is or releasing it is this setting so when you set it correctly here as you can see here it says it's a Q stack 13 so instead of using this for example this might be here you might be on a different page okay and you still would like to launch that Q stack see it's here you click on it and it loads in within the given time and when I click on it you are actually releasing it and then you have the release time applied okay that's all so if you have any other questions feel free to ask I hope it was useful thank you very much and have a lovely day and again don't forget to sign up to this channel subscribe to this channel thanks bye bye